Hello, and welcome to our first ever retrospective product review breakdown from Nikkor Store. Today, we will be taking a look at none other than the Nikkor TM28. Are you new to this channel? Consider subscribing and liking our videos for more Nikkor content. The Nikkor TM28 came out first in 2016, over six years ago, when gas prices were reasonable because, I don't know, it had something to do with racism according to Twitter? I don't understand politics. Either way, while I was working on my script for Nikkor Flashlights in popular media, our last week's video, I could not help but notice the TM28 has been featured in four out of the ten or so productions with Nikkor products. First, the two that I covered in the last video, Resident Evil 6 The Final Chapter, 2017's The Mummy starring Tom Cruise. Additionally, it's been in HBO Max's Raised by Wolves, and Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And I'd like to show you guys a screenshot of that, but I had no idea there were apparently seven seasons of this show, and I'm not going to watch through them to find the one scene with like three seconds where they use the light, so I suppose we will just have to take the manufacturer's word for it. Why is it that even after all this time, that the TM-20 out of all of the lights that Nikkor has ever manufactured, why is it particularly this one that we see featured so often in popular culture? Now, I would contend that the primary reason for its popularity is its unique styling. For instance, in all of the screenshots that I have shown thus far, it is readily identifiable and unmistakably the TM28. There is something rather peculiar about this design. Perhaps it is the four circular reflectors that are evenly placed in a squarish bezel that make it seem kind of uh, geometric and modern, slightly futuristic. And if you think about it, there are plenty of flashlights out there that are brighter, more powerful, longer throw, more efficient batteries, newer designs, more modern ones. So why is it this one? Well, I would contend it's probably its unique styling just kind of hit a sweet spot that made it so popular in popular media, as well as amongst our own customers. Thus, today we will be doing our first ever retrospective product video breakdown of the Nikkor TM28, Tiny Monster 28. If you would like to see the original TM28 product video done by my predecessor Tina, that video's link will be in the description below. First, here is everything that comes included with the Nikkor TM28. First, you get the LED array, the battery holder slash grip, a heavy duty lanyard, spare o-ring, the wall adapter slash charging cable, user manual, warranty card, and it is at this junction where we branch off into two possible power configurations available on Nikkor Store. The first package comes with four Nikkor IMR 18650s, rated at 3100 milliamps each, for a total of 12,400 milliamps. Now these batteries even specifically say for TM28, because these are high drain batteries and you need that higher amperage to power the thirsty monster that is the Nikkor TM28. The second power configuration, which is slightly more expensive, you get this, but in addition you get the Nikkor NBP68HD battery pack with a theoretical 18,400 milliamps of power, or 68 watt hours. The MPB68 substitutes the short battery grip and screws on. I will be showing later in the video. However, in this configuration, keep in mind, you still get the short handle, just no batteries. So arguably, you could, in the future, order four separate IMR batteries from Nikkor, and you will be able to power the smaller configuration as well as the larger configuration, so you could swap them out and use whichever ones you need. Additionally, if you purchase the first configuration with just the flashlight and the four batteries, we do sell the NBP68HD battery packs separately. The Nikkor TM28 comes equipped with four Cree XHP36HI LEDs for a blazing 6000 lumen max, capable of up to 716 yards or 655 meters of beam throw. It is a concentrated beam thrower with 172,000 candela rating. With the short battery handle configuration of the TM28, it comes in at just under 5.59 inches in length. And yes, the grip is certainly fairly wide compared to what you would consider a average EDC flashlight, but it is still plenty easy to manipulate. I do not know how to adequately describe the sensation, however the most analogous tactile feeling would be to holding a soda can. However, I honestly do prefer the NBP68HD battery pack configuration, because when you grab the middle the other end works as a rudimentary counterweight, providing additional balance, and the sheer density makes you feel like, in addition to the powerful light, you are in fact holding onto a very heavy-duty sort of tool. Here is the operation guide of the Nikkor TM28. 
The TM28 just has one switch, however it is a two-stage switch. The half to press activates the TM28. You will feel a small click, however you must always fully depress to deactivate the TM28, where you will feel two clicks. The difference is the half to press activation only has access to your four lower brightness modes. At this point, you can keep half to pressing to cycle through these four, ultra low, low, mid, high, and back to ultra low. This part has mode memory, so it will reactivate on the mode most previously used. Here it is, off ultra low, on ultra low, off high, on high. The full depress of the TM28, where you feel two clicks, will always activate the flashlight in its 6000 lumen turbo. From this stage, the half depress will alternate between the 6000 lumen turbo and the 2300 lumen high. Turbo, high, turbo, high. The TM28 comes with this compact OLED display, which I have always preferred to our more newer models. While the light is off, tap this small button next to the display plate to see the standby battery voltage. This will give you a rudimentary understanding of how much battery power is left. When the flashlight is activated, the display will cycle through the current brightness mode, the battery voltage, an even more rudimentary symbol for the remaining battery life, an estimated remaining battery life translated to time units, and then the current operating temperature. You can always see these again by tapping the small button and go through them faster by continuously tapping the small button. The TM28 comes with a lockout mode. First, activate the flashlight. Then, fully depress and hold for one second. The LEDs will flash once, and it will say lockout mode on the OLED display. Fully depress and hold for one second again to unlock the TM28. The Nikkor TM28 comes with this style of battery charger, the direct wall box to this circular plug. This can be plugged directly into your TM28 to charge the batteries inside the battery grip. On the opposite side of the OLED display, you will find the charging port. It is protected with this nice silicone dust cover which opens with a very satisfying pop, which I don't think the mic can pick up. The OLED display will show charging to show that it is charging. Now here is something interesting about the Nikkor TM28. In addition to being able to charge the batteries inside the grip, if you purchased the MBP68HD battery pack package, the charging cable can be connected directly to the battery pack which then allows you to use the short handle grip and continue using the flashlight while your larger battery pack is charging. And finally, the Nikkor TM28 comes with this quarter inch tripod screw port, which is a trend you see on many of Nikkor's high powered flashlights because this can be used as a dedicated searchlight and thus mountable on quarter inch tripod mounts, such as this hot shoe to swivel quarter inch adapter that I have. Like so. The Nikkor TM28 is also rated IPX8 waterproof and is submersible up to 2 meters. The Nikkor TM28 is available at nikkorstore.com. I hope you have enjoyed this retrospective product breakdown video. Grab one of these and add to your crippling flashlight addiction, I mean fun whimsical collection. If you have enjoyed this video, or think I am a big dumb fart, please leave a comment or suggestion below. And of course, as a show of appreciation for our entire YouTube audience, save 10% on your entire order at Nikkor Store when you use the code U10 at checkout. If you would like to stay up to date on future product releases, sales announcements, specials, and more, please consider subscribing to the Nikkor Store YouTube channel. And thank you.